Hey guys and gals, it's another day on the wet coast. It's a foggy one today as winter is starting to roll in. And I'm gonna start a new project. Should be a short one and it's on my utility trailer. I bought this trailer uh, a year ago and I'm using it for car hauling. You can see in another video that I've done at the far end there, I actually added a winch that allows me to haul cars onto it much easier. But what I wanna do now is to add some more utility to my utility trailer. I'm gonna build a box on here using two by tens. It's gonna allow me to carry up to about uh, maybe two cubic yards, maybe two and a half yards of gravel. The trailer's rated for 7,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds of that is the actual trailer itself. It gives me about 5,000 pounds of leeway to carry stuff on. And I figure what I can do, build a box, carry some dirt. So let's get started. So I think what I'm gonna do, what I've got in my mind, is using these stake pockets that are on the trailer. I'm gonna do a two by four coming up here. I'm gonna run a 14 foot two by 10, the length. And I'm actually gonna stack two of those on top of each other. And there'll be one on each side. The fenders will also act as a support to stop the wall from blowing out when I have gravel in there. And then I'm gonna make two removable front and rear walls and I can I think what I'm gonna do is have a small box of about two and a half to three cubic yards from around this stake point here to about here and what that will do is allow me to keep a small amount of heavy material centered over the axles but then I'll also have the option to move those back here, the walls that I'm gonna make, and all the way almost to the front, maybe around here, for lighter materials like soil, which will give me a good carrying capacity on this trailer. I think I'm gonna sketch this out. I've got a good plan in mind what I'm gonna do here, so let's do that now. So this is what I think I'm going to build. The trailer is about 7 foot wide by 14 foot long. I'm going to use two 2 by 10s to make the walls with and they'll be tied together with both the stakes made from 2 by 4 that will fit into the stake pockets, there's three of them, as well as these 1 by slots that I'm going to make that will allow me to take the front wall and the back wall of the trailer and move them where I need them depending on the load that I'm going to be hauling. So I could have a front bias load, I could have a rear bias load, or for heavy loads like gravel, I can just use this small center section, which will be directly loaded over the axles, and hopefully that'll keep everything stable. I figure I'm gonna have about three cubic yards in this area alone. Two yards of gravel is probably the most I would feel comfortable carrying on this trailer, because that's gonna be about 5,000 pounds. I think overall this will work well. Then I plan to paint it black so it looks a little bit more like the actual trailer itself and not quite so redneck. So I guess now the only thing to do is make it. All right, I got my materials out. I've got two of the two by tens that are gonna be cut in half and they are gonna make the short walls, front and back. And I have four of the two by tens, two each on either side for the outside walls or the long walls or whatever walls. You'll see what I'm doing. So I've made my six stakes that are gonna go into the stake pockets and I put a bit of a miter on the end of each one of them. That way, 
when I'm lowering it into the steak pocket, it's going to be a lot easier to not jam up. Well, we made some decent progress today. It's starting to get dark. It's still pretty foggy and I probably shouldn't be using a radial arm saw when it gets dark. I do like all 10 of my fingers or eight fingers and two thumbs at least. So I'm going to continue this tomorrow. It's another day on the wet coast and it's not raining. It's not foggy and I'm going to get back to the flat deck trailer modifications that I'm working on. I'm kind of happy because I got to deal with all this lumber and well, at least I won't be bored and pining for adventure. So I got some cuts to make, time to get to it. All right, so I have the sidewalls made left and right. One of the boards was a little bit of a banana, so I had to use a clamp on it to get it lined up. The stakes fit in the stake pockets quite snugly. I may have an issue pulling these sidewalls out of the stakes as there's not a lot of movement in there. I may have to sand or plane down the stakes a little bit to give me a bit more wiggle room. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is start cutting some one by two strips out of one by four plank that I have. And I'm gonna start making the slots and the front and the rear walls for the trailer. And those I'm gonna be able to move back and forth as I mentioned in my design. Let's keep going at it. So the 81 inches width that I measured is good, but it's a little bit too snug and it's going to make it a little bit hard to pull the walls out. So I'm going to trim them down by about a quarter of an inch on either side. And I need to have it set back far enough to allow room for the fair lead and the hook for my winch. But it's starting to rain and I really don't want this raw lumber to get too wet because it's going to get all bendy. So I'm going to wrap it up for now and put it all under cover and hopefully be able to get at it a little bit later. I'm also running low on screws. I need to go to the hardware store and get some more.
Just got back from the hardware store and I made it just in time. I needed to get these fasteners, otherwise I would be screwed. So hey, you made it almost halfway through the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks, here's a bit of a sneak peek the way it turned out. If you're enjoying this video, why not subscribe? The link is in the description below. There might be one over in the corner here. It might be over there. But if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. I've got some fun stuff planned and maybe you're gonna enjoy watching me do it. Anyways, back to the build. Okay, I'm back at it. The weather is cooperating for a little bit, so I'm gonna see what I can get done on the flat deck trailer modifications today. What I did in the meantime is I went ahead and I made all of these 18 inch tall strips. And that is because these are going to be what holds the, the front and rear walls in place. And I'll show you how that works. So I beveled the, the tops of these to allow the boards, uh, the, the wall to slide in. They're gonna go like this. There will be two of them, front and rear, and they'll be about two inches apart because the the boards that I'm using are actually one and three quarter inch thick instead of one by or two inches thick dimensional lumber. I'm gonna have this about two inches apart, and I've beveled the top here so that it'll slide in easier. So I'm gonna have four of these along the walls, matching both sides, and they'll just be screwed to the two by tens, and that should work just great. I've already measured out along here on both sides where I want the walls to be able to go. I've just marked along the top, so now I'm just drawing a line, which will be first strip here, space for the wall, second strip here. <laughs> This is a two by three jig that I made for auxiliary lights for my tractor to go on the rollover protection bar across the top. There's a link to the video here, maybe not, down in the description for sure, if you wanna check that out. But I want the two inch side because this is perfect for me to place for the wall to slide down. So one last thing I'm gonna do, because obviously these walls are a little floppy on the side, is take these angle brackets that I've bought and I'm gonna anchor them to the top of the actual movable walls. And those will hold the side walls in. And if there's a load up against the side, it'll stop them from being pushed out. Those kind of stripped. I'm not happy with that at all. I thought they would be aggressive enough and long enough to get a good purchase on the wood, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I'm gonna see if I've got something else that'll work better. I'm not a fan of this, but it'll hold well enough, and then I'm gonna drill a couple more holes in here that are gonna be smaller than the diameter of those holes, and put a few more of these uh, X screws in there. I don't have to worry about a lot of side loading. I just want to hold it like nicely in place so that this piece doesn't slip out from between the strips here.
She's done and I couldn't be happier. My day worked perfectly. I can move the walls back and forth where I want them in the slots that I've created very easily. So right now it would be configured for like two cubic yards of gravel, centered over the axles of the trailer. And when I started, it was as big as it could get and that would be something for like, I don't know, maybe four or five yards of, of soil. I don't know how heavy that is, but it's a lot. No, super happy. The only thing left to do now is paint it and test it. It's getting dark now, so I'll do that tomorrow. Well, there she is. I took the liberty of saving you the boredom of literally watching paint dry and I painted the sides. I've got it set up to take two yards of gravel right now. I'm gonna test this bad boy out and get that done today. I'll give you a quick tour of how it all fits together and I'm pretty happy with the way she turned out. So you can see it actually looks pretty good. I just used a good exterior latex paint, got it tinted in black which was kind of cool. I didn't realize you could actually get that done. But here it is. I might have to give it another coat of paint. It's rained pretty heavily since the last time I worked on this and we actually had a bit of snow, so I couldn't really do much work on it or go get this load of gravel. But here she is, looks pretty good. Well, there it is. Proof is in the pudding. It works really well. I'm pretty happy with that. I might make a small adjustment and set up another spot where I can move that front wall a little bit farther forward as the trailer still seems to be loaded a bit heavy in the back. This is two yards of bird's eye washed one quarter inch gravel. It was a little bit more volume than I thought it would be, but it is totally fine. That's how I pretty much at least double the utility of this flat deck trailer of mine. I can use it to haul lots of different stuff now. I can have firewood in there. I can still, I could take junk to the dump, stuff like that. And if I'm feeling really dirty, I can totally soil myself with this thing because I'm no longer boxed in with just a flat deck trailer. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? I've got the link down in the description there. There might be a link on the screen depending on the device you're watching this on. But regardless, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.